Today we're here to unveil what we consider the centerpiece of our new headquarters. The Wall of Heroes, it pays tribute to all the organ donors from our 56 county service area from Waco all the way down to the Rio Grande Valley. Men, women, and children who gave the gift of life through organ donation. 3,297 medals that adorn the wall. Our eternal gratitude goes to them. My name is Amparo Marles. I am a chaplain. I am a hospital chaplain. And um, Tosa has invited me to do the blessing of this beautiful wall with all our heroes represented in it. And I've been wondering if actually I should ask all of them to bless us because they are already with God. They are already there. He or she that are represented there in the whole wall are there because they are heroes. I am a mother of one of them. Maybe you are a father of one of them. Maybe you are a husband, a wife, a daughter, a son, a brother, a friend. In our darkest hour, when we had to make the decision or we have to honor the decision of the of our loved one to become a donor, to give the life of others. We knew that he could be continue living in someone else. Probably we didn't realize at the time the impact that this was going to do on the lives of many and in our own lives. Let us bless this wall of heroes. So each one of you, please extend your hand toward the wall. And if you know where your son or relative is, just extend your hand there. Let us pray. Oh dear God, each of these heroes represented on this wall have been a good servant. All of them, Lord, gave life to others, which is why they are here on this wall. We ask you, Lord, that you bless this wall. Bless this wall, Lord. May what it represents be a perpetual remembrance of what they did for others. May they be an example for many more, so that we also become good servants as they were, as they are. Lord, we know that they are already with you, enjoying the gifts that only you can give. Now we ask you, Lord, that through, through them, through each one of them, you bless all of us here on earth, the relatives and the recipients of their great gift of life. Bless all, us, all of us, Lord, and especially bless all our heroes for what they have done to be on this wall of heroes. May this wall of heroes be blessed. Amen. Today we're here to unveil what we consider the centerpiece of our new headquarters here at Texas Organ Sharing Alliance. This beautiful wall of heroes that when we started thinking about what we would do here on the property, uh, honestly, this was probably the first thing that we thought of as how we were going to honor. We didn't know how it was going to look. We didn't know how we were going to do it, but we knew that we were going to do something to honor our heroes. And uh, here we are today. And um, I think everyone should be very proud. I, I know we at TOSA are extremely proud of how this came out. Um, it's strategically placed so that anybody who comes on this property must come through here and see it. The Wall of Heroes, it pays tribute to all the organ donors from our 56 county service area, from Waco all the way down to the Rio Grande Valley. So you can see the impact that it's had. This Donor Memorial Garden and the Wall of Heroes is to honor the individuals and families who have impacted so many lives over the years. The Wall of Heroes is a gift from TOSA staff and our governing board to our donors, and their families who've given the gift of life and have been a beacon of hope for the thousands who await a life-saving organ transplant. Today, you see here a total of 3,297 medals that adorn the wall, all of them placed by members of our team 
our staff, and including board members. The medals feature the donor's first name, initial of their last name, and the date of their donation. The wall has five panels that will eventually hold the names of more than 6,000 donors eventually. These selfless organ donors have saved thousands of lives since Tosa's inception in 1975. And the Donor Memorial Garden also features eight trees that represent the eight lives that a single donor can save. The area was designated so visitors could walk and find healing and while paying homage to Tosa's mission of saving lives. We wanted to share this moment and space with everyone in person, but it was important that we have this reveal during the holidays when families miss their loved ones the most. This is our gift to you, so thank you. I get the privilege of working here at TOSA, and I've also been given the privilege to read what is on the plaque that kind of starts the walk of the wall. The Wall of Heroes, to the men, women, and children who gave the gift of life through organ donation. Our donors may not have considered themselves heroes, but that is how we remember them. Heroes who left a legacy of life that continues not only through the recipients, but through all of the lives they touch now and in future generations. We invite you to pause and remember these individuals who are acknowledged in name or in spirit. I'm going to introduce you to Dr. Spegg. He's the chair of our governing board and very much a part of putting the wall together with us, with the entire TOSA team. I am Dr. Spegg. I'm a liver doctor. I take care of uh, patients before and after transplant. And... Um, Basically, I also have the honor of being the uh, chairman of the board of directors of Texas Organ Sharing Alliance. You hear me use uh, the word we several times in the next few comments. It's not a royal we. Everything at TOSA that makes it work so well is by consensus. And, and we're totally happy with that. I would welcome you, especially uh, members and friends of uh, the donor families. As Joe said, unfortunately, because of other circumstances, this is gonna have to be a soft opening for the uh, unveiling of the Wall of Heroes. This, remember, it's only just been a couple of years ago. In fact, we've sort of lost track of the, the few it was that actually some of you may have even been essentially on this spot for the uh, groundbreaking uh, for our new home. Um, as we sort of outgrew the least um, office space that we previously had, uh, it was realized that we should have a home of our own. And uh, now this has become a reality. During the planning, um, one of the most important things was the unique opportunity to do something special for, don for the donor's uh, memory and for the uh, family members uh, of those uh, heroes. Um, as was said, uh, you can see the 3,000 medals. This, somebody may have understood how spectacular this would uh, turn out, uh, which I believe it has. Uh, it would, been a, would have been hard to predict, I think. Um, we sincerely hope, uh, basically, you'll find uh, this a uh, quiet, a tranquil uh, place where you're welcome at any time, except at night when it's locked up, um, to come here and remember, meditate, and celebrate uh, what these heroes have done. Um, they did give the gift of life and uh, our eternal gratitude goes to them. I'd like to call out the names of those who um, gave the gift of life in 2019 so that way they as well can be recognized. January 2019, Amber A. Hezekiah W, David L, Katie R, Isra W, Mark G, 
Victor M. Michael M. Chevelle S. Jose N. Robert L. Carson S. Charlene C. And Juan O. February 2019. Mark S. Maria G. Deborah B. Jesus R. Giovanni R. Jacob R. Mary S. Garland C. Gustavo W. Noah S. Laura F. Irma P. Henry D. Rodney R. And Anjanette W. March 2019, Daniel V, Teresa L, Zachary P, Clayton M, and Joe S. April 2019, Tito B, Tyrone F, Roberto M, Russell D, Hannah J, Joe S, Lizel S, Augustine I, Tina M, Byler L, Priscilla Q, Raphael G, Flor D, Abel L, Jose M, Norma B, Maria del Carmen C, Jesus G, Christopher N, and Jake A. May 2019, Nestor C, Joe J, Rodney W, Andrew E, Melissa T, Jesse T, Eric W, Rodolfo G, Tommy L, Guadalupe P, Kema S, Juan G, Michael S, Julio G, Ashley M, Louis K, Marlene S, Victoria F, Dusty W, Joshua R C, Richard B, Renee B, Justin P, and Landon E. June 2019, Abel E, Antonio S, Rochelle D, Kendall J, Veronica C, River S, Austin F, Dareel G, Angelica P, Christopher M, Santa G. July 2019, Justino TF, Vance H, Peyton C, Nevea M, Miguel A, Tasha S, Brianna G M, Sharde W, Joseph S, Randy S, and Jack C. August 2019, Ashanti T, Connor R, Norma D, Xavier G, Patience S, Aaron A, Alessandra P, Rodrigo S, Ian H, Joshua B, Kishana M, Ezra G, Todd P, Anthony D, Brody B, Russell D, Tiffany W, Angelica T, Roshanda H, Jacob C, Jimmy A, and Toribio J. September 2019, 
Aaron C, Ryan R, Amanda M, Elida A, Megan K, Emily H, Craig T, Diego G, Clayton S, Noah B, Nicholas P, Leslie N, Mark H, Marta V, Daniel M, Santos E, Charles G, Felix F, David E, Dale M, Joshua M, Stephen C, Sarah R, and Samantha H. October 2019, Ramon O, Omar M. V, Nicholas L, Ronald H, Karen T, Bethany K, Nancy T, Louis C, Lori B, David T, Maria Elena C, Leah M, Valerie T, Corey M, Raphael S, Christopher G, Maricela F G, Shayna P, Samuel A, Justice R, John M, Robin R, Alejandro M, Savannah R, Edgar M, Humberto A P. November 2019, Desiree B, Harmony G, Eleutheria O, Michael R, Dalton L, Anthony J, James B, Izel G, Warren M, Sean C, Dominga D, Araceli C, Maria C, Monica T, Latravia D, Omar C, Clayton T, Aza S, and Ashley W. And December 2019, Zandra L, Carlos G, Sarah J, Maria S, Allison B, Mario V, John M, Michael D, Damon H, Zayden C, Jesse R, Marie L, Fred J, William B, Crew L, and Nathaniel B. These were all of the 2019 donors. Um, Thank you for joining us today in honoring both our 2019 donors and um, your loved ones as well. Thank you.